When we first got to the Kalahari, the first thing we did is got off the plane, got in the trucks, and we just went rhino tracking. It started out pretty boring because there was absolutely nothing. We were just driving for hours. When my brother or Doug, who worked there, heard something in the bushes, we then stopped the car and got out. We went for at least a five minute walk, and then we saw a family of white rhinos. When I first came face to face with the rhinos, it was kind of like, what's about to happen, what's going on here, and at the same time it was just, wow, look at these guys. I mean, they're nothing like you think. You can see them at the zoo, but the zoo ones to me, are, they're not as wild. I mean, you've got the zoo ones that are just walking around minding their own business, and then you've got these that look like they're going to run at you and put their tusks down. I was like, oh yeah, yeah, they're just, they're just grazing. Then the baby saw us, and then it starts walking towards us, and the mama sees, and she thinks we're a threat to the baby. I was thinking, the thing sees me, she's gonna charge. It was pretty scary. Talk a little bit louder. There we go. That's it. Our guide goes, all right, just talk a little louder, and he starts raising his voice, and then all these rhinos look at us. We're kind of like, are you serious? Are you kidding? But he was being serious. It was really the only way to not scare them and get them to come at us was to make us know. Uh, talk a little bit louder. A rhino kind of reminds me of some prehistoric animal. It's really bulky, it's big. It doesn't look like it can get around very quickly, but in the reality, it can run extremely fast. It was like looking at the grill of a truck about to run you over. Yes, we'll go for the tree if anything should happen. Our guide told us to, if they do turn around and try to charge you, and you go and hide behind a tree, a thick tree, because they can run over any flimsy things. I knew if a rhino charged me, I couldn't run faster than it, but that was okay because I knew that I could run faster than Gannon. The whole idea is to dodge it. First you get it away from people, so it follows you, and then you dodge it. And the, you know, this bushman decided he'd climb a tree, but it was one of these thin guys. So he was right next to the ground, hanging on to you. <laughs> Eyes closed. I would definitely recommend going to find the white rhino on foot. Um, it was definitely really exciting. Only thing I have to say though is be really careful because sometimes things just happen and they're known to be pretty aggressive. Rhinos, they truly are amazing and terrifying at the same time. It makes you think, am I gonna die? Am I gonna live? Am I gonna get to tell my friends this? And when you do the experience, it's like, yeah, I'm gonna be able to tell my friends this. Staying in a car is boring. I mean, you don't really get to view it live. I mean, it's like, wow, I was standing a few feet from a rhino. This is me. It's just really fun. The experience was great.